Hello viewers, welcome to my Doctor Who themed YouTube channel, Who Ventures, and in this video I am unboxing the fam. So I managed to get this with a lot of thanks to the time meddlers for helping me get this from B&M Bargains. It is really cool, I'll put a link to their website down below, but you can get loads of Doctor Who merch on their website and it's really great service and they have payment plans as well so th this is what I got I got this and then um, because I managed to get this I decided I got all the rest of the fam so we're going to get them out of this box down so we have this one which is Yaz, Ryan and a Jadoon with his helmet on or her helmet on this is the friends and foe of the 13th Doctor set then I got the rest from Amazon and so I got Jadoon Captain she's cool you do Captain Paul uh, this is what the back of the boxes are like got 13 with her blue top on that's what the back of her box is like that's then I got the 13th Doctor's TARDIS so, This looks cool Then I got the alternate 13th She's got the pink top with the bum bag on And then I, I got Graham Yay! Cheese and pickle, cheese and pickle. No, just pork graham. I do love a cheese and pickle sandwich. I love cheese and Branston pickle. So these are, I got for everything on the cover, but these are what I got. So let's do, see if we could do one of these um, transitions. I'm going to get them all out of the box now. So let's do a transition. I don't know. So. All the fam are out of the box, so let's go through the likenesses and the details. So, here is 13 with her pink top. And I think this range, the likenesses are really good. So the back of her kite the articulation that there usually is on the Doctor Who action figures okay remove her head her arms up and down a little tiny bit to the side her leg her knee joint, got a hip joint, tiny bit of swivel and no ankle joint so that's probably going to be the same for all of the figures so this is what she looks like, this is a little sonic and this with the pink top version she's wearing the bum bag so that's what that looks like so now I'll show you the the other colour way. So this is the the first one they released. So her hair is a bit lighter on this one. The her top looks like that the sonic 
I add boots. So pretty cool figures. Then we've got Ryan and he looks cool. Again, lightness is excellent. And blue top and this coat with the hot tall colour and this coat's got massive pockets on the back it's cool got grey trousers on and there's his shoes and see so that's Ryan then we've got Yaz, he's got the space buns in which looks cool. All these figures do stand up on their own once you balance them to stand up, so that's cool. And so the hair details really cool. Detail on the space buttons very good. The red brown jacket, the white shirt and these jeans and brown boots. So that's the We've got Graham and this is really cool. The lightness is so good. Do you So he's got big pockets on his jacket so he can fit his soldiers in. And he's got this sort of shirt collar thing, I'm not sure which top he's wearing underneath that. But he looks cool and he's got these jeans that's like nearly the same colour as his jacket. So it looks like he's wearing overalls and he's got these shoes on. So that's Graham and then we've got Paul, the Dune leader. She's got both her horns on and her hair looks pretty cool. This is her outfit and she's got a space for her accessory, the blaster. And she can hold it in her hand as well. See, it's got the, the detail, and you can see the detail where she's got a, a white tie and an ordinary eye. And her teeth, you can see her teeth too. So that's part. And this is the Jadoon with his helmet on and he does come with a blaster thing. He comes in the sack with Yasun Ryan. So that's what the helmet looks like. So I think they're real cool figures, real good likenesses. So now we can move on to the TARDIS. And um, so this is the 50th 
Floating Doctor's TARDIS and it's got the dark blue paint on and the black police telephone box side. Um, what I find a bit disappointing, well quite disappointing, is that when you open the doors there's no inside. See there's no sticker or diamond or interior for it and the battery pack sticks out into the interior of the TARDIS. So I find it very disappointing that they didn't give us, they didn't put an interior sticker in or anything. So when I opened it, I was like, oh, it was like really disappointing. But I do like how the light comes through the windows like that. So to close the doors, you have to pull this closed and then unlock the, the spring back mechanism on the door. Um, to get this in, to even get it out of the packaging, you will need your precision precision screwdrivers to get it even before you even put the batteries in you'll need it to get it out of the packaging because it's actually got two little screws that screw it into the box um, so now I'm going to turn it on and I'll show you what it does um, warning this is a warning that it is mega really loud and it, it actually hurts. It's my ears how loud it is. So just be warned that it is going to get a bit loud. So we turn it on. got quite a grating whine to it and then the top bulb flashes I think that looks cool how it flashes and then so it's gonna stop flashing I don't know if it stops flashing actually it do. so that is the lift TARDIS up dematerialization sound That if you um, don't touch it for five minutes, it will go into sleep mode. Opening the doors doesn't do anything. So, so place the TARDIS down. Oh, I don't know which one that was now. That was, I assume that was the place the TARDIS down. So now I'm going to do the place the TARDIS down is the rematerialization and so this should be the dematerialization sound so if you think it's too loud a couple years again ow oh sh So the sound does go on for quite a while. So turn it off now. Um, so I like um, kind of like the Star Wars pew 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 sounds. But other than that, it's a bit grating on the ears, and there's no interior. But well, yeah, I've got the TARDIS as a model for drawing, so that's good. Also, with the box on the back of the box is a massive spiel about the TARDIS which I won't read out but you also get this cut out which you can cut out of the box from well it's on the side of the box and cut it from the box and this is a nice tip a good tip a good reference for drawing the TARDIS as well so if you have you can like get all the lines right and stuff so keep that that's good for drawing too so that is my review of the 
the fan action figures, the Jadoons and the Doctor's 13's TARDIS. So, um, I'm pleased with the action figures. I'm disappointed with the TARDIS because it's really loud. It's too loud for me. So, so these are all the action figures. I've had to line them up, but the other action figures that you can get up the fan. It's really fun. So there might be some photos after I sign off, but I'm not sure. So I hope you have enjoyed this review, and thank you for watching. Yay!